Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT. Um, it is really uh, easy tutorial, easy process. Um, so to start, I'm going to open the AMD Radeon software. So you can just right click on the desktop and then open it up. And then um, you're going to go to the performance tab and then tuning. Uh, I'm just going to reset mine. So yeah, uh, you will see yours set on default settings. So to edit the settings, you need to uh, set it to manual tuning. And the first thing uh, to do um, is to enable the power tuning um, and you know increase the power limit to 15%. That's just the easiest thing. Uh, gonna hit apply. I'm also gonna start um, uh, the what's it called the heaven benchmark whilst I do the overclock so you can see um, you can see yourself like um, how it is running whilst doing the overclock you can download this for free by the way uh, from their website just google in an engine heaven benchmark um, and I'll put it in the description as well um, it is for free. You can. Uh, I recommend to use this while uh, doing the overclock. Just have it running in the background, and and yeah, have your AMD software. So at the moment it is running. We increase the power limit to fifteen percent. Uh, the second thing is to you know adjust your fan tuning. I I liked my I like mine to set it to 50% maximum because I don't like it very loud um, but it depends on, on your preference you might you might want to increase it or decrease it but I like it on 50% and I disable the zero RPM I don't because um, even when there is no load I still prefer it to um, to be running a little bit to cool down the case and stay cool then hit apply so the fan will just adjust the third step, uh, the third step, uh, I prefer to increase the VRAM. Uh, I prefer to do the VRAM before the the GPU t um, clock because the VRAM is more important. Um, in this case, like on the uh, 7900 XT, on the um, um, this latest series, like they, um, the the GPU clock uh, already like runs high by itself. So I found out that increasing the VRAM will uh, give you more benefit. So we'll do the VRAM first, and we're gonna enable the fast timing, and then make sure you enable the uh, advanced control. So and then. Um, you can see on stock it runs on 2500 megahertz uh, and I prefer like um, to increase it by um, by 100 uh, megahertz each time so we're gonna try 20, 2600 megahertz and then click apply and then see if it's running see if it's running fine but I already tested mine and I can I know that mine you know you can try 2700 megahertz and then hit apply you can see that is increasing each time we increase it um, yeah so I know I already tested mine and I'm gonna enable you know jump to uh, 2720 that's where I tested mine I can do to 2720 megahertz. Uh, so uh, yeah, I tested mine for a while and with that crashing. Uh, if I increase it more than that, I can start seeing uh, some artifacts or uh, the GPU will crash after like half an hour or something. But I tested it to um, 2720 uh, and it is running fine with that. Uh, the next thing to do is the um, GPU tuning. You can see that is 
it does jump to 2500 um, actually I just remembered that um, let me just turn off this for a second this is another thing guys that you need to check as well if you go to the um, gaming tab and then your graphics settings I have Radeon Chill enabled so I'm going to disable that because it was uh, I wanted to save power and I'm going to disable the frame rate target control so I disabled them and then I'm going to start the uh, having benchmark again yeah so now I'm going to jump back to the tuning tab you can see that you know by stock settings the GPU clock already runs you know already jumps to 2800 MHz so I already tried it and played with it for a while like like by stock settings it already jumps to 2800 and but if I want to like, adjust it to manually like you can see like by stock settings it already set to jump you know to boost to 2860 megahertz so it's already high but I I already tried to increase mine to like for example uh, 2800 minimum I'm gonna hit apply changes so you can see that the max now jumped to 2900 and then minimum 2800 but the clock speed is still to 2750 so I already played with it and I tried it for a while and I didn't see there is a benefit to you know enable the uh, the um, GPU clock I found more benefit in overclocking the RAM the VRAM and increasing the power limit because the GPU clock is already it already boosts by itself so if even like even if I disable it now and then hit apply it will still jump to 2800 by itself so I didn't see a point to enable the GPU tuning but it's up to you if you want to enable it or not but in my case in my uh, graphic card module it already, it already boosts 2850 uh, and you know I see no benefit in enabling this but it's up to you if you want to set it to 2800 and then and then it will you know it will boost more but I don't think it will boost more because it's already it already boosts higher uh, by running, it, running it on uh, stock settings so yeah in my case I I just didn't enable that I just uh, overclocked the VRAM to 2720 and increase the power limit and you know adjusted the fan curve and then um, t when you finish you just hit export so you save this profile and then you're gonna name it um, stable OC and hit save so next time when you uh, for example install new driver all you have to do is import settings and uh, and then just import it like that so you, you know you don't have to do it all over again so yeah that, that's pretty much it guys um, I'm gonna you know leave a download link to my profile um, so, so you can import it easily but this is how you do it guys and you know as I said uh, do your RAM first the VRAM first and increase the power tuning because these are more important and the GPU clock uh, I don't think it will boost much because the the status the the stock setting already boost high um, but you know it's up to you if you want to try uh, to you know enable it or not but that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions please uh, leave me a comment and then I'll try to help you and if you find this f um, useful please like and subscribe cheers